Hi, good night. Good night, guys. Hi, how are you? Hello. Hello. Pretty good. I was worried because um, really early in the afternoon, I had problems with my uh, internet. <laughs> and I was like, yes, oh my God. Was yeah. Terrible. It, yes. was, it was terrible because, uh, well, my husband was in a meeting and suddenly it like went down. And I was like, oh my God. So I need to get in touch with my um, boss, right? <laughs> and I explained it to them the situation and I need to like deal with the uh, cloud. And so they're, I think they're like updating something, but I told them, you know what? If you continue that, you're going to screw up my classes. Because <laughs> I have classes today night. So hopefully nothing happens because I was about to, to leave my house and arrive to my mom's house, you know? <laughs> yeah. And my mother was really so, happy. She said, yeah, yeah, come here, girl. Okay. Uh, of course, right? You yes. Know, yeah, even though you're going to, you're older, uh, you could have kids and everything, you could be married, but you're going to be <laughs> your mom's or your dad's ch yes. uh, child no matter what, right? Yes. But when I told my mom, hey, mom, I think it's everything is okay with the internet. She said, okay, cool. <laughs> if you want to come, come. If not, that's okay. But she sounds like sad. So I'm sorry. Well, I was about to or go to my mom's house or go to the academy. <laughs> so I can give the classes oh, okay. around there. Okay. Yeah. So it was like a two <laughs> options, right? But thanks God that everything is fine. Hopefully also, guys, you, Amilcar, Anita, and Olga, everything goes so well right now with your internet, right? Something. Sometimes it happens, but I don't know why, because right now it's not raining and it's not windy, right? So mm -hmm. I don't know what happened exactly. What about you guys? How's your day going so far? Do you understand my question? Good. Yeah, it was good. Well, not, yeah. yeah, it was good because you did not forget <laughs> that you had this day's class, right? That's one of the things. <laughs> it was a day a little bit lazy because it, lazy uh, day. It's, it's been raining the whole day. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yes, I know. Yeah. Yeah. The well, whole that one day. is drink coffee and sleep. <laughs> and a hot chocolate, right? With a hot chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> and a piece of cake, by the way, right? L lying on the bed with your blanket, and what's your favorite movie? <laughs> that would be nice. That was a perfect day, yeah, but no. Yeah, I know, me too. Yeah, but I, I, I had to work, right? <laughs> so, definitely, no, you guys, no, you, okay, I have, I have another work, so basically I wasn't like, oof, okay, yeah. Um, I have a question. Y no, okay. <laughs> I have a problem with one question in the platform. Mm -hmm. uh, is the activity 2.10 written ah, exercise okay. child prodigies uh -huh. is the last question uh -huh. say, whose work has Alexandra's been compared to and I tried all the answers Me that I too. could do also you mm -hmm. put Picasso like a, like capital P and then apostrophe S you tried to um, put that uh, yes that? Mm. I, try because yeah it's, it's only picassos picassos well there's two ways to answer that but you have to be careful also with the spaces yeah if something happens with the spaces oh it's going to be wrong if we put a period at the end of the sentence it's going to be wrong if you not put capital letter for picasso because picasso yes, is a like, um, i know yeah and then also guys double check about the apostrophe because sometimes there's two apostrophes so sometimes you use the other apostrophe yes yes so you need to be careful with those things i will try to help you with that okay don't worry i did it <laughs> you did it it's only picasso's Okay, and did you pass it? Yeah. <laughs> you see, I told you. Monday, I'm, I'm going to start with uh, section three. That's amazing, because we're going to start with the section three this weekend, so that's good. Yeah. Hey, that would be good. Hey, look, Anita. Anita uh, Navarrete is wearing a, a hat, right? Hey, Anita, your hat is similar to one of uh, the ones that my mother made for me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 
Oh, I have. I, oh. Yeah, I like it. I like it. It looks like a Russian hat, right? It looks like yeah. that. Yeah, but my one is not black. My one is like a beige color. Yeah. Ah, we have also Maria del Carmen that she's going to give the, <laughs> the homework today. <laughs> yes, this is like, woohoo, right? I got Anita Rosales. Oh, Anita, long time without seeing you. Hi, Anita. I'm so happy. Meet Anita, guys. You have not seen Anita because she had problems with her cell phone and the internet, but now she's come back, okay? She's ready to work. Yeah, so you, we have new classmates, Anita. We have Ani, uh, another Anita, Anita Navarrete. You are Anita Rosales. <laughs> we have um, Olga. And also we do have a milker. So he's brand new. He's one of the youngest, but he's not the youngest. Oh, yes, you're the youngest one, right, a milker? I think so. You're 23, right? Yeah, I don't know, Fernando. No, Fernando, I think he's older than you. I think he's around 26. Okay. Hopefully he's not here. <laughs> okay, but, but we can ask him, okay? We can ask him later on. Also, we have Danny. Welcome, Danny, and welcome, Carlitos. Hello. Hello, I'm so happy to see you, even though some of us had a problem with the internet, but right now we're eight, so we're going to move on. Okay. Do me a favor. Uh, let me ask you something. How long have you been studying English, guys? How long have you been studying English? Uh, I've been learning English for almost one year and a half. One year and a half. Ooh, that's yeah, not I much, didn't right? like. I didn't like to go to the academy, but <laughs> why not? Uh, the last. <laughs> uh, Thank I you for being honest. Mm -hmm. A little bit bored for me. More to because, go? Yeah, because I didn't like to <laughs> to, ah. uh, to tell with kids. With kids? Yeah. With I kids. prefer to talk with adults. With kids? You were with kids? Yeah, when we start to the, to the level or, but or one, something. But one year and a half, you were like 20, right? Yeah, but that was when I was in the high school. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Yeah. I only I only received the uh, English class in the school. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, and later I tried to sing uh, some lyrics. Mm -hmm. My favorite singer is Adele. Oh, really? Uh -uh. Yeah. Hopefully, you can sing like him, like her. <laughs> 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 you'll try, you'll try, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then when you started the academy? Uh, I don't I don't know if you know the E4CC, English Folk Concert. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yes, I do. Yeah, I studied there. Mm -hmm. And I started in Basic 2. Mm -hmm. Later, I passed to Basic 3. Mm -hmm. Two weeks later, I did my, my exam. Well, that is interview. Mm -hmm. And... Yes. I passed for basic four. Uh -huh. Later, I didn't go anymore because my grandfather uh, was sick. Mm -hmm. And I returned there mm -hmm. and I studied uh, intermediate one. Okay. And now I'm here. <laughs> so, so what make a uh, change your mind or make up your mind to change your academies? Uh, if I change? Yeah. Because you were for CC and then you're with us. Yeah. And by the way, if for CC disappeared from Santa Ana. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. About the the pandemic. Uh -huh, the pandemic, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. And, but you were with kids, you said, and now you're with adults. Yeah, I prefer. You prefer to be with adults. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're a kid for us. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I know. I'm <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Uh, just teasing you, Milker. Well, actually, yes, you are, because I think you're the youngest one here in the group. But, yeah. but you, you are pretty mature, actually, to be with us. So that's good. Very yeah. good. <laughs> okay, guys, so you listen. He wants, to, he feels very good with adults, so we're going to treat him as an adult, okay? <laughs> no, that's good. Yeah, 
the reason is because they, the adults have more uh, topic to talk. Uh, exactly. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And sometimes the uh, kids are only speaking about video games or I don't know. Or shopping, <laughs> and I right? Don't like that. Or yeah. movies or fashion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. I think because you live with your grandpa, you say, right? You live with your grandpa. And your yeah. Mom, right? So I think it's because of the environment that you have grown. That could be. Yeah. And he all the time is telling me the, it's telling me uh, his stories. Mm hmm Oh, okay. Yeah. Ah, so that's the reason why. Okay, very good. Yeah. So guys, do you remember that how long has uh, Mr. Mamilkar has been studying uh, English? Olga? Dani? How long? One year and a half. One year and a half. Very good memory. <laughs> now that you already answered, now listen to you. How long have you been studying English? Mm, I've been studying English maybe two years two years okay a half ago. Year, half years two more years than ago. than a milker mm -hmm. okay what about you yes. melvin how long have you been studying english hello hello sir good evening good evening uh, truly these three three uh, three courses in Inglés corporativo is uh -huh. my only is my only uh, really formal study for English. Formal, yes. so you can say around three months. <laughs> yes. Wow! Oh Pandem my God! Pandemic, pandemic effect only. Yeah. Oh wow! You know what? He's an Albert Einstein song, by the way. No, uh, English. Not to burn. Always, Always like me, always I, I like English. Ah, okay. English doesn't yeah. like you. You love English. Okay, very good. Yes, yes. <laughs> the music, movies, and oh. my my objective in these courses, I I I tell I told you in the in the in the, the last and, course, um, the past course. The last course is yeah. uh, vocabulary, grammar, grammatical uh, rules and some topics to 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 talk with uh, my partners in, mm -hmm. the, in, in the work specific and uh, the the general uh, knowledge i have a little bit yes i have seen it that very good you see you have expressed yourself very good and also you correct yourself when you say oh no that i didn't use that bird correctly like <laughs> You remember and yes. you switch it. So that's good. That's really nice. And also that what had helped you is that your attitude that you have. The attitude yes. is, is, is a lot. Yes. So that's yes. good. You, so you have been studying around three months. Okay. Okay, guys, For, listen. Formally, formally, yes. Formally. formally. But not formally? If you can not formally. Uh -huh, not formally. Five years? Not formally is uh, the courses in, in high school. Ah, okay. Uh, Three, like, like three, mm -hmm. three, uh, three years three, ago. No, three materials. Materia how you how you said materials in, in, in English, guys? Materia? Subject. 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 Very good. Subject. Subject. Okay. Subject. Three subjects in my in my in my uh, in your career? University? Yes, in my career. Okay. I, I studied I studied uh, law. No, okay. Yes, and I don't know why. Okay. They, they teach us. They teach three, you or you, they taught you? They, they uh, give us three Gave subjects. Us. Uh -huh. Gave us three <laughs> subjects. Three subjects of English. And okay. Is it no, it's is it important? Bad. No, 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 it's important. But, but in but in law, yeah, I, I, in law. Was, you can ask Umberto, yes, of course, but in law, yeah. yeah. Yes. Because the, there, this is, mm -hmm, there this are many uh, books that book. you can read it, uh, you must read in English. Yes, yes, yes. This is my formally uh, English. Okay. Uh, before these three months. Before, so we can set around one year and a half also, like that, if we count yes. it. Also like a milker, okay. 
That's yeah. good. What about you, Maria del, uh, del Carmen Colindres? How long have you been studying English? Hi, teacher. Hi. Uh, I don't know. I, I have don't know. Um, a lot of time. Okay. But uh, not uh, seguido. All, okay. All not continuously. Not continuously. So you interrupted uh, like like Melvin. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, I think. Um, I have two years. Two years, around two years. Also like Olguita. Okay, very good. Yeah. That's good. What about you, Jose Ramirez? How long have you been studying English? I have been studying English uh, mm -hmm. around two years. Two years? I, oh. Yes, I studied on uh, weekends. On weekends? On weekends. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, you start on weekends and now you are studying uh, on weekdays, right? From Monday to Friday. <laughs> well, in this case, that yeah. this week is an exception, right? Because normally it's from Monday to Thursday. <laughs> okay, very good. I studied in two institutions. Two institutions. Two academies. This, yes. Oh, that's good. That's good. Excellent. So you see, guys, most of you have said that you have been studying English around two years. That is the medium, right? Uh, and, and some of you said one year and a half. Let's listen to <coughs> Mr. Fernando. Hi, Fernando. Fernando. Hello, teacher. Hello, uh, Fernando. We're asking how long have you been studying English? A teacher in in my career, mm -hmm. I study a level on, of English. Eight levels uh, of English. Ooh, okay. Yes, teacher. A levels we required to graduate to graduate. Is is a requirement for you to graduate it? So yes, you teacher. Must, you must pass the eleven levels. You yes, still been, and you were saying, "Oh my goodness, three subjects, three subjects." Which is, which is his career? Which okay. is his career? Uh, which is your career, Mr. Fernando? Uh, my career is journalist. You see, journalist. I'm a journalist too. Yes. 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 Uh, for the <laughs> moment, my... <laughs> for the moment, uh, my career is very difficult for the, for the time. Yes, exactly. You're right about that. Yes, and Fernando, when I study back in the university, I didn't have any subject about English. Any. I have okay. I have one subject, Melvin, that about law. And I was like, why? Yeah, but I noticed why. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So, yeah, you see? So that was, yes, exactly. But I was, you know, guys, I finished... My university when I was uh, <laughs> 22 years old. <laughs> um, okay. Ooh, yes, exactly. Leave it like that way. Leave it like that way, okay? Ah, no, no comments about it. <laughs> no. And um, I was 22 years old by then. And it was in 2004. Ooh, right? Can you imagine 2004? I was 22 and I graduated when I was 22. Actually, I started the university uh, when I was 16 years old and a half. Yes. Very younger, teacher. Younger, Carlitos, yes. Yeah. I finished high school, high school when I was 16 years old. <laughs> so can you imagine? And by that time, I already spoke English. <laughs> no way. <sighs> uh, yeah. So that by was the first. way, I, yeah. I start I start my career in two in 2022. 2022? 20, 20, okay. 2022. 20, no, no, 20, 02. 20. 2002. 2002. Uh -huh. I start my career in 2002. Uh -huh. Really? I finished around 2010. 2010? Around yes. eight years? Eight years, eight mm. years, because I, I, of I course. lose 
uh, on some subjects. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't study on cycle. And... Yeah, and it's because by that time you're already being a dad, so you have a lot of responsibilities, right? You have to work, etc. So it's different when you have already responsibilities than when you're single. And basically, you just have to study, <laughs> and that's it. Yeah, so that's it's difficult. Okay, one. I want to listen one more. Uh, Adela, oh my God, I don't know what have you Hello. done. You have some. You have done something with your hair. You look so yes. fancy. <laughs> Did you iron your hair by any chance? No. Are you only sure? only lip? Uh, yes. No. My hair is very oh, straight. Oh. Straight. Straight, yes. Oh my God, but you look so nice. You look so beautiful. <laughs> I like it. Thank you. <laughs> Isn't she beautiful, guys? She's beautiful. Yay. Okay, yeah. tell me something, Adela. <laughs> well, tell us, uh, share your uh, your experience with English. How long have you been studying English? Um, really, uh, not much because I always stay some class but no formally no formally okay no formally only like, like Melvin. yes and suddenly i left to practice then i forget to learn <laughs> you forgot you forgot yes i forgot and you're returning the... back <laughs> yes yes because when a person is married is have many uh, less time for yes. to learn. Yes, exactly. Uh, You're right in, about that. Into war in the in the house. In the casa house. Oh, you say that all the things that you do at home. How you say that? Do you remember that word, guys? Help Adela. How do you say all things related to house, like clean your house, wash your clothes, chores? Your clothes. Uh huh, chores, but you need to add something else. Uh huh. Housekeeping. Housekeeping. Housekeeper. House. 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 Housekeeping. No. House, Amilcar? Housekeeper. No. The word that you said at the beginning. House what? House chores. House chores, exactly. Oh, That's the okay. one. Remember, house chores are everything related to uh, the maintenance of the house, right? Anita, house chores is a word that you use when you have to clean your house, when you have to wash the dishes. Everything related to the maintenance of the house is called house chores. Okay? Anita Navarrete, yes. do you understand? Anita. Yes? Okay. Very good. Guys, do you notice know that, that we have... Yes, and Danny, go ahead. Sorry. Sorry to interrupt you. Go ahead. Can you write the word in the chat, please? No, I can't. Um. <laughs> no. Yeah. Okay. Yes. I will do it, but ask the question correctly with the correct intonation, Danny. Go ahead. Can you write the word on the chat, please? Uh -huh. In the chat or on the chat? Uh -huh. Can you please be so kind? You see, you need to be polite with me. Oh, would you mind? Would you mind writing the, sh uh, the word for us on the chat, please? Uh -huh. You see? Yes, I will. I don't mind at all. Uh -huh. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How shores? Eh? Yeah. Whoops. I mean, I miss one word. I miss one letter. Sorry. I don't know. I had to change this because sometimes I need to like. <laughs> yes. How shores? Very good. Okay. How shores is basically everything. My pleasure. Everything related to the maintenance of the house. Okay. I have asked you what? How long have you been? Hey guys, do you remember what is the burden that we have used to formulate that question? How long have you been? Any ideas? How long have you been? That's the question that I formulate to you. Let me just one moment. Past participle. And no, how long have you been? And I ask you to start in English. That was the question. Let me check. 
that was the question. How long have you been studying English? Any idea what's the grammar tense? That's not past. Because it's you see, a present perfect continuous. Exactly, Amilcar. Present yeah. perfect continuous. Hey, welcome, Melvin. <laughs> I know that you love grammar. <laughs> no kidding, right? Yes, present perfect continuous. So today, guys, basically, we're going to learn the use of the present perfect continuous. Isn't it amazing? Yay! Right? Only the teacher is happy and everybody's like, oh, I'm crying. I know, guys, don't, don't do that. You see, present perfect continuous is really important, guys, because that will help to speak in a daily basis, okay? To explain things that you have been doing. For example, guys, how long have you been studying English? You told me, most of you told me that uh, they have around two years, right? Two years or one year and a half, okay? So, with the information that you gave me, can somebody guess what, when do we use the present perfect continuous? For what reason? Any ideas, guys? Any ideas? We're going to see that right now, but I want, I want to know if you have an idea, when do we use it? Or what for? No? Zero? Because, because you is, make this action. <laughs> I need to say like zero. <laughs> okay. Because you make this action in the past and you still uh, doing in the present. Exactly. Exactly. For example, you started uh, your English lessons on your English knowledge two years ago, right? But right now we are in 2020 and you're still studying, you see? But don't worry, I have, an, I have also an answer about, because maybe some of you said, okay, so what is going to be the difference between present perfect, the simple way, and the present perfect continuous? What's the difference? If there's a difference? Yes, there is a difference. But right now, and don't worry, I know that maybe Melvin will ask me that question, and just in case, I prepare an, an answer for that. Okay, Melvin, so don't worry about it. We're going to check on that, the difference, because there is a difference. There, is, there are also around four differences. Uh, but right now, we're going to focus, guys, on when do we use it? The structure of the simple, of the um, positive sentences, the structure of the negative sentences, I will give you an example, of course, and the structure of uh, questions, okay? And then I will formulate a question to you, like the one that, we, that I have done right now. How long have you been? But I will give you another type of questions. And I want you to answer according to what we have learned, okay? So are you ready? Yes. Mm -hmm. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Oh yes. my God, come on, energy, <laughs> yay. Yeah, uh, yeah, come on. Okay, let's the party rock, okay? Okay, let's the party start. So let me just one moment. Let me share right now my screen. And then we're going to start. I will need a volunteer to help me reading, okay? So please, everybody will participate. Oh my God, hey, Jose, I love your cup. <laughs> yeah, when you, dr when you drunk, a, a, a water right now and on the on the bottom of the cup it appears like yeah. you were in um i don't know in the universe it was like a mirror so that was nice <laughs> yeah i like it okay that cool. is an, an effect but the image of things yeah exactly hey maria quintanilla how are you girl i miss you hey very good amilka are you going to help me reading Tell me if you're able to see my screen, Milker, and I'm going to make it bigger, okay? Bear with me, bear with me. Doo -doo 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 -doo. You can see it. You can but or you cannot? Could be. What about now? Is it much better? Yes. Cool. It's much better. All right, Amilcar, when do we use it? The present perfect continuous. Read it for me, please. Amilcar, hello. Is Amilcar there, by the way? I think Amilcar is not there. No, right? I don't know what happened to Amilcar. 
Well, when you call him, he left. Yes, exactly. Okay, Melvin, now that you speak, go ahead, Melvin. He ran away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, help. I'm the military. Go ahead. Could you please be so kind to read it for me? And the teacher is freeze too. Am I freeze? Was it? What about now? Am I okay? Yes? Yeah, it's okay. Okay, cool. So let me go back and share my screen once again. There you go. Okay, Melvin, can you see it? Yes. Could you please be so kind to read for me? When do we use when do we do use it? No, again, when do we again. use it? When do we use it? Very good. Present perfect continuous for a continuous or repeated activity that began in the past and continues into the present. Exactly. In second, it emphasizes the activity itself and its duration. Exactly. Very good. Okay, guys. So the present perfect continuous. Thank you, Melvin. We use it. We talk about an activity that is repeated, okay? And began in the past and continues in the present. For example, the activity um, that we have spoken right now about that you started English two, two years ago. But also, if you know, guys, what was the, the purpose of the, of the question that I made for you? Emphasize the, the, the English of the, of the study of the English or emphasize the activity that you have started? and the duration. What do you think, guys? It the activity? Exactly, Maria. It emphasized the activity. What is the activity that you were, uh, you are a really positive person and your goal was to learn English and you started learning English two years ago and you're continuing learning English. So you see? That's one of the difference of the present perfect, the simple present perfect. Let's continue. I will give you an example. Who can help me reading? Thank you, Maria. Go ahead, please. <laughs> <laughs> Look in my book. My no, book. my notebook. Your <laughs> notebook. notebook. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Example. Jack has been waiting for. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I had been waiting for over an hour. For over an hour, okay. That means, guys, that one hour ago, Jack is yes. start waiting, right? And right yes. now, one hour has been passed and he's still waiting, yes or no? Yes. Yes, it's exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. Continue with the second example, please. I've been studying since three o'clock. Okay, that means, guys, that at three o'clock, you start uh, for example, right? Yeah, you are so nice and so good at students. You start studying English, okay? It's 7 p.m. or is in, in this case it's 8.30 or exactly. And you're continue studying English, you see? Because you're really good at students. Mm -hmm. Okay, the last but not least, the last question, please, Maria. How, how long have you been studying French? Uh-huh, how long have you been studying French, guys? I'm just kidding. You're studying English, no French, right? Zero. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> but that is an example. Yes, it's exactly the same question that I formulated to you in the beginning. But in this case, I asked for English because we're, uh, we're talking about English class, okay? So do you understand right now the, the examples? It's very, really easy, right? Yes, teacher, for you. Okay, guys, now let me show you the structure of the present perfect continuous. Who can help me read it? Danny, do me a favor. Could Hello. you please be so kind to read for me uh, this first structure, this one, please? Guys, this is positive, okay? This is positive. Can you help me read, please, the example? Okay. We have been working together since last year. Okay, very good, guys. So, the structure of the positive sentence. First, guys, we have the subject, remember? It could be any of these, I, we, you, they. And then we have, what is the verb, guys, the auxiliary verb that we use with present perfect continuous? What is it? Have. 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 And then, guys, 
you have to check that we use been, right? We have been. And guys, you see, we use the past participle of which verb? Of to which be, verb? Be. The verb to, to be. be. So here, guys, in present perfect, we use a lot of verbs. First, the auxiliary have. Then the past participle of the verb to be. And then we use the verb. But the verb in what form? Plus ing. Ing form. This example follows the structure? Yes. You see, we have the subject. We have have. We have been. And then we have the past participle. And the, well, in this case, the verb in the ing form. But guys, take a look at something really important. If we're going to use I, we, you, or they, which auxiliary we're going to use? Oh. Have. Oh. Okay. But it's going to be different if we use the, uh, the pronouns he, she, it. Why, guys? Because it's third person. Because it's third person. That is exactly right. And what is the, the third person for have? Has. Okay. It has. We continue, guys, using the past participle of being, and the rest is exactly the same. The only what is changed is that with third person we use has, and with the rest of the verbs or the pronouns we use have, okay? That is really important. Hey, and, and take a look, guys, because if we're using has, we don't have to change anything to the main verb, which in this case is painting. You see? We just put the ing form and that's it. Okay, now guys, tell me something. What can I do if I want to construct this sentence but in a negative way? What can I do? Or what am I supposed to do? Any idea? Haven't. We haven't. We haven't. We haven't. We haven't. Not, not constructed form. Exactly. Yes, we need to use the contraction. Very good. Very good. Okay, let me check this one. Yes. We need to use the contraction not. Bear with me for a moment. Let me put it here. Okay. We need to use the contraction not. Very good. But guys, take a look. Where is it? Because not, if we're going to convert this sentence into negative way, not is going to be in the middle between have and been. So you said we have not been working together since last year. Don't say we we have been not. No way. That's not correct. We have not been. Okay. Just remember that. And then if you would like to put in a negative way, not is going to be between have and been. Okay. Is it clear? Any yes. questions so far? Yes, Anita, 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 Anita. Yeah, everything is okay, Anita? Where is Anita, by the way? I lost Anita today, okay? Maybe. Oh, she has a, a bad connection, maybe. Okay, um, yes? The um, negative, mm -hmm. I don't understand. Okay, what? Week and not. Uh huh. What? What do you don't understand, Anita? This. Uh, we have. Uh -huh. Not been working. Exactly. That's the correct way to say negative. That's the very second good. Is we. We. Eh, perdón. Eh, he. Not was been. No. 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 You're going to do exactly the same that you have let me know in the first. Part. You said, we have not been. So now, how you construct the second sentence? The second sentence is, he has been painting, right? So if you're going to use has, and you're going to use it in a negative way, you said, he has not been painting, okay? It's a middle, it it's has in the, some been. Exactly, Anita, it's, it's in the negative. middle. Exactly, and in the she, middle. He, it. Exactly. And I, we, you, they, is. Have. We, not, have been. Exactly, Anita. Very good. Oh, okay. Very good. 
You see, you're a smart girl. Very good, excellent. <laughs> yeah, you're Thank right. You. Okay, let's continue. Okay, now guys, this is the example of the formulate of the questions. T you can read it, take a look at really quickly and tell me what is the difference. Is there any difference here? Yes. The auxiliary have is first. Exactly. The auxiliary have or has, right? Depends. Is first. Then we do have the subject. Then we have been. And then the verb in the ing form and the complement. Take a look, guys. Have, because I'm talking about you, right? Have you been saving money lately? ¿Has guardado plata o dinero recientemente? ¿Sí? ¿Ves acá? ¿Quién me puede dar un ejemplo de esa pregunta? Who can give me an, an example of using this question? Or another question. Otra pregunta. Carlitos. Thank you, Carlitos. My teacher. Uh, example another question. Yes. Maybe. Using uh, have or has, whatever you prefer. How long? Sorry. Yes. No, we have. We have. Oh, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Have you eating? Into have you the eating or have you been? Have you been eating into the restaurant uh, lately? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be good. Lately? Mm -hmm. Very good. Any other example, guys? Olguita? Dani? Have you been have you been visiting? Uh -huh. Visiting? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm, um New York lately. New York lately, you said, right? Okay. Lately. Okay, very good. Okay. Now use something else. Use another pronoun, guys. Use we, use they, use he, All she the it. Team. Have the team training every day? Have the team, the team, have the team training have, all the, or have the team been training? Have the team been training every day? Okay. Every day, like that? Okay, very good. Any other example? <clears throat> Has your brother working in the last month? Has your brother working or has your brother been working? Has your brother been, been working? Been working. Last, very good, last month, excellent. So you see guys, is it not complicated, right? No way. Is it clear guys? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, yes of course, like a piece of cake because you are really smart guys. Okay, now guys, we, Let's do something. There you go. Okay, very good. Let me check it out really quickly. And then, there you go. Okay, oops. Let me go back. Hey, hey, teacher, what happened to you? No way. Let me check. Let me share right now my screen really quickly. There you go. It's time to speak, guys. So tell me something. We already did the first question, right? How long have you been learning English? Now, guys, uh, tell me something. Uh, who's tired, by the way? Who's tired? Who's tired? ¿Quién tiene, quién está cansado? Who's tired? Melvin ¿Sí? is a little bit. No, Anita, <laughs> Maria, no? Yeah, yes, right. Okay, so tell me. You are tired, so I'm going to ask you, what have you been doing? ¿Qué han estado haciendo para que estén cansados? What have you been doing? Hmm? Working. Working. I'm working. <laughs> I need a complete sentence, if you don't mind. Uh-huh. Working. It's the structure of the sentence. Uh -huh. Working. So, Melvin, how you say that? Present perfect continuous. I... I was. I was. I have been working. Yes, been working. Catherine. All, I, all day. I have been working all, all day. day. You see? Uh -huh. Very good. Thank you, Catherine. But don't help him, okay? Uh -huh. <laughs> That's okay. Very good. But, 
<laughs> no, that's okay. So, Kathy, are you tired? Uh, yes. So, what you sure. what have you been doing? Um, they say I, I have been working. You have been working as well. Okay, what about you, Danny? Yes. I have been working in a lot of meetings. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's why you're tired. Very good. Yeah. Jose, what about you? Are you tired? Yes, I'm tired. Okay, what have you been doing? I have been lifting some boxes in mm. my box. Ah, okay. So he has been doing some physical, right? Physical activities. Yeah. Yeah, very, that, exactly. You got tired because of that. Maria, I, I, I yeah, yeah, he's like, what? I, I, <laughs> what is that? Okay, Houston, we do have a problem here. <laughs> no, I noticed that you are tired because she was like, yeah. right. yes. So tell me, yes, because what, what, what have you I been? have been, I have been wake up. Oh, waking, waking up? up, waking up early, 4 p.m. Mm -hmm. 4 a.m. since what? Since Monday? No, no, today. Today? Uh-huh. Oh, my God. So, and we yeah. are almost what? <laughs> and we're almost 9 o'clock, right? And you're still awake. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Have you been drinking a lot of coffee by any chance? Yes, yes, uh, three or four cups, maybe, cup of coffee, yes. But yes. not regular one, the huge one like this, right? <laughs> yes. Okay, black coffee? But, black. Yes. Oh my God, no, I prefer coffee with uh, sometimes it's sugar, sometimes with a little bit of milk, sure. sometimes. No. <laughs> well, so, sometimes, but when I want to wake okay. up, it has to be black, black, okay. black. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah, yes. And you know what? Since um, I do have a, my brother-in-law cultivates coffee. So basically he brings us the natural coffee, the green ones, right? So we, we can like boil it and we can drink pure coffee. That's what I love. That's what I love. You know, yes, Jose. But uh, there is a, a coffee that is a, uh, espresso. Oh that my is God. A very a small body. It's a, like uh, a three no. coffees in a, a, yes. a meal of the No coffee. way. That that one, you know, I love it because I love hard coffee, but my stomach doesn't. So if I drink a cup of coffee like espresso one, I have a stomach cage. So and my, I remember that my husband once, he asked for that uh, espresso coffee when we went to a restaurant. But and he didn't ask me because I, I know uh, more coffee than more type of coffee than him. And when the waiter arrived with the coffee, he saw that it was like a tiny cup, right? And when he started drinking that, he was like, oh, What type of cup is that? And he said, Espresso, the one that you asked for. Oh my god, but this one is like, like a sense, right? So basically, he asked for a bigger cup. He, he put, uh, again, the espresso coffee, and he asked for more water, hot water, of course, so they can deal it. Americano coffee, it. yes. Yeah, I deal it a little bit because it was this really, really strong coffee. Oof. It's a coffee to lift in, in seconds. <laughs> yes, but you know what? I think the hardest one is the Cuban coffee. Ooh, that's worst. The really? Cuban coffee. The Cuban coffee is like a, it serves like a cup of tea. When you were a child, you were uh, you were playing like tea tea party, so there were like little cups like this. So uh, Cuban coffee is really but really strong. It's like uh, a liquor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, really. actually yes, it's... and do have like they have a, a manual a special a cafeteria like machine or ca cafe machine, which it actually uh, has an own filter inside, and it's just for two cups and that's it. Only for two cups, you can make it, but, or you can prepare maybe, it. Maybe, maybe you drunk uh, coffee with rum. With rum, come on, Melvin! No, it was pure coffee, sir. So strong, so strong with rum, so strong. <laughs> no, it was because it was a, a special machine, a special machine who prepared it. So I know that you do not believe me, but no, 
I'm not that kind of girl, by the way. <laughs> Colombian coffee. Colombian coffee is one of the best. Yes, I love it. Cappuccinos. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on, guys. It's freezing. It's raining. Well, it will be really loud to have a cup of coffee right now, right? <laughs> Especially Maria, that she needs to continue being waking up. <laughs> okay, guys. Now, let me ask you something. In this quarantine, some of you maybe have a diet. Some of you maybe not. But I want to know, what have you been eating? What have you been eating? Uh-huh. Some of us can eat uh, something extra, right? But some of us not because we need to save money. But what have you been eating? Uh, let me start with uh, Fernando. What have you been eating? Fernando. Hello, teacher. Hello. What have you been eating in this quarantine, Fernando? Eating. Uh, I have been eating... Uh... I have been eating coffee and bread. Coffee and bread? Yes, teacher. Okay, pizza, hamburger? Um, no. Pizza, hamburger, no. No. No, teacher. Only house food? Um, Tell us the truth, uh, Fernando. The ro uh, I, ha I have been eating rose for the moment. Uh, roll or rice? Rice. Rice, arroz, rice. Okay. Um, oh, okay. Yes. At the, lo at the lunch. At lunch, okay. Yes. Okay, very good. Thank you, Fernando, for sharing your diet. <laughs> what about <laughs> you, uh, Adela, that you're a chef? What have you been eating recently? I... I have been eating um, healthy, I think. Healthy, healthy food. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yes. like for example? Yes, yeah, for example, uh, vegetable salad. Okay, very good. And black meats like okay. chicken, okay. fish, mm -hmm. and Sometimes spaghetti. <laughs> oh, that you! I know that you made them del so delicious, Why right? Spaghetti with in blanc in blanc sauce. Oh my God! With a white sauce. A white sauce. So like yes, bechamel so sauce. Yes. Oh yes. my God! I, I Adela has her own recipe. And <laughs> yeah, last time when she explained to us the. The spaghetti with the white sauce, oh my God, it sounds delicious. Maybe one yes. time we can try your recipe, Adela. Maybe one time, okay? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Very good. Thank you for sharing your diet. What about you, Amilcar? What have you been eating? Well, I don't do diet. <laughs> uh -huh. No, definitely no. You are younger. <laughs> no. <laughs> But I've been eating pupusas for the dinner, mm -hmm. and sometimes I don't do the lunch. Really? Why Only you the skip the lunch? And dinner. Why you skip the lunch? Sometimes I don't know what to do. <laughs> okay, what to cook? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. but sometimes I. I prepare um, spaghetti. Okay, yes. you can ask with, Adela uh, the recipe. Yeah, but I do the, the spaghetti with Alfredo sauce. Oh my God, that, that's delicious, man, but it has a lot of calories. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and for the next week, uh, I am going to try to do uh, lasagna. Oh my God, no way. You should do something. You should take a picture before you eat your lasagna. <laughs> okay, and then you can share yeah. with us, and maybe you can share the recipe. Why not? You see, I have been putting in practice some of your recipes, Melvin's recipes. I have put it in practice, and it was really delicious. Yeah. yeah. By the way, when I when I am going to do a recipe, mm -hmm. I I watch a video on YouTube. Oh, of course, yes, me too. That happens to me. <laughs> and if you yeah. yeah, and if you follow the instructions, 
Yeah, everything went fine. You know what? Uh, recently, I have been watching, you see, I have been watching, yeah, present continuous. I have been watching like um, a video that my husband sent to me, how you can make uh, fried potatoes without oil. And I was like, what? Is that possible? That you can make a fried potatoes without oil, like healthy way, and it was. So I intended to like try that if it's possible, if I can make it, and if uh, if everything went fine or goes great, well, I will let you know, okay? But can you imagine fried potatoes or French fries without oil? That sounds interesting, right? Isn't it? Yeah, so I am yeah, taking to put it in practice. Okay, I've been watching that video like one or two times because I want to follow step by step. And I, and I know that I have to uh, buy some some special paper. I think like there's like um like a white paper that you put in a specific uh, container that you use to put it into the oven. Yeah, so I need to buy that special paper. I think, I don't know, it's like, it calls like butter paper. I think is that the way they call it. And uh, uh, if everything goes well, I will show you, okay? I will send you the picture about, voila, that's my fries, uh, French fries, okay? But <laughs> hopefully I can get a good French fries on the first time, hopefully. Okay. Send those Light. the recipe. And... Yeah, I will send you, no, I will, guys, I will send you the link in YouTube. You can try it, okay? I could try it. Yeah, very good. Okay, what else? Who else? Ah, Melvin, what have you been eating? Tell us. I have been eating Lido's margarita bread. Okay, it's, margarita. It's Lido's margarita ah, Lidos. bread. Ah, okay, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> what? Lido's, Lido's margarita bread. Each, uh -huh. each breakfast. Oh, that's good. Pandemic. I like it. They're really good, actually. They're really, really nice. Only Lidos Margarita? Hey, you have, you are oh. a really good chef. No, come on. What about for lunch and for dinner? You are a chef. Sometimes you prepare the food for your kids. Yes, because uh, and on weekdays, mm -hmm. my mother-in-law mm -hmm. cooks for us. Hey, that's nice. Yes, because I work. In Yes, of course. Okay, very good. Anita Navarrete, what about you? What have you been eating? ¿Qué has estado comiendo? What have you been eating? Um, how, do, how do you say de todo? I have been eating a lot for, of everything. <laughs> yes. Okay. My mom, my mom cook. Your, your husband? No, my mom. Oh, your mother. Oh, your mom. Okay, your mom. Really? Oh, that's, oh, of course, of um, course. Chile rellenos. Oh, my God, those are really nice ones. Yeah. Soup, um, beans, um, pork. Oh, my God, you should put Loroco. And, and try it. It's really good. <laughs> um, a cake. Cake? Banana. Banana cake? Banana cake. Mm, that's yummy. Um, I, I don't know the, the translate. Uh, dulce de ayote. Oh, yes, yeah, that's no translation. <laughs> <laughs> you, can say, you can say ayote candy or ayote sweet dessert. But, yeah, you can say it in Spanish. It's okay. Um, uh, cake and carrot. Carrot cake? Carrot oh, carrot cake? cake? Carrot cake. Oh, um, my God. Quesadilla. Oh, quesadilla. Oh, my God. I love it. Tenita. You know what? Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm hungry. And did um, this, um, por consecuencia de la pandemia. Yeah, uh, because of the quarantine. Uh -huh. uh, oh, yes. Uh, hemos yes. cocinado más. Yeah, we have been cooking more. We have uh, been uh, cooking, cooking more. Been cooking home. more. At home. Oh, yeah. but you know what, Anita? It sounds like if you're in a restaurant every day, you see? Yeah. <laughs> Carrot cake, I banana cake. cake. Remember? Come on, yeah, Anita. Right. Yeah. I have a teacher on science. Really? In my first, um, I learned chemistry, mm -hmm. pharmaceutical. Oh. Oh, that's great. But you know um, what? Uh -huh. I good at cook. 
Oh my goodness. But you, you, your mom is cooking. So, oh my God, mother's kitchen is the best. It's yes. the best. Yeah. I always remember. Um, we were in soaps. Really? Be a soup, uh, right? Costillita River? Ribs. 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 Oh my, you see ribs. Oh, no way. Oh, come on. <laughs> Don't be like that, Anita. <laughs> stop, stop, stop the count, says Trump. Stop yes. the count. Yeah. I'm not diet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you don't have diet. Like a milk, yeah. right? No, no, no diet, no, mommy. No, no way. Yeah, I know. Mm, maybe you can share some recipes with us, Anita, right? Especially the chile rellenos. I don't know. I love them. They're really, they're, they don't, they're not hard to do. But they take time, right, to prepare. No, it's well, very easy. No, it's easy, it's, but I mean, um, time. and tatemar. Oh yes, that means like um. On paper. Uh huh. Tienes que dorarlos. Bag. Yeah. Um. Five minutes and mm. you skin. Uh huh. Easy. Oh, yes, of course. Pero tienes que tener cuidado de que no te pase del tiempo, porque te es, quedan muy aguados. Es por el tipo de chile. Tiene que ser de carne gruesa. Oh. Si es delgada, se rompe. That's a really good tip. That's a really good tip. It has to have like a strong Excuse skin. Me. No, that's okay. If it's like a tile, light skin, is going to drop. Okay. Well, so that's good. You see, guys, we have learned a lot. We have been talking about food. We have been uh, knowing that at least Amilcar and Anita, they don't have diet. Last but not least, I want to hear Carlitos. You have now a speak. Come on, this class. Carlito, what have you been eating in this quarantine? I have, I have been eating, teacher, um, a lot of food. <laughs> a lot of food. So you have uh, been earning some weight, earning some weight, ganado peso, earning some um, weight. No, no, not really. Oh, no. that's good. But, uh, I think uh, about, uh, I had a lot of worry from my job. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. So you have been eating a lot and for ev of everything. Uh, yes, uh, for uh, pupusas, a lot okay. of pupusas. Like uh, a milker? My, my wife uh, uh, learned to do uh, pupusas in the house. Uh, mm. um, uh, everything. All spaghetti. Spaghetti, uh, beans, uh, I have, um, in Spanish, pastelitos. Pastelitos, <laughs> yes, pastelitos. Pastelitos are pastelitos all over the world, like pupusas, right? Very good. So you can ask Bean's recipe uh, to Melvin, and you can ask Spaghetti's recipe to Adele. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Please share the, the, the receipt to, I, I would <laughs> like to, okay, I, 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 will, I will cook teacher is if, if, if Melvin, uh, share the receipt, I will go. Yeah, definitely try a bean soup with Rocco and it tastes really good. Really okay. good. I will try. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you you try it and you will love it because in my case, every time that I make a bean, um, soup, bean soup or just beans, right? Just beans, just to have it because for example, beans can help you a lot. You can prepare Salad beans, you can prepare fried beans, you can prepare crazy beans, right? Every oh, beans helps. You can make it in many different ways. And saves you time and saves you money. And of course, they're delicious. Okay. I love beans. I love being sal half Salvadorian. I love to be like that because mm, here in El Salvador, we have a, a lot of type of beans, right? They're really, really good. Okay, guys, you know what? It's time to say goodbye. Wow. Time passed really fast that we cannot imagine. Guys, what I'm going to do right now, if you give me just one minute, I will send you right now in the WhatsApp. Uh, basically, the, it's a graphic. It's a graphic that I made for you, that I prepared for you. 
that no homework, no, no homework, wait no a minute homework. wait i have no finish <laughs> <laughs> no actually it's not a homework it's an extra help for you guys because i love you and i'm i'm a good teacher so uh, basically uh, what i'm going to send it to you is um is a help. It's a help for you to uh, check the difference between the present, the simple, the present perfect as a simple way, and the present perfect continuous. So you will have like a better idea or much better understanding about um, how to use it and when to use it. Okay. So I'm going to send to you just like a, like a plus. Okay. Like an extra information. For you to inc increase your grammar knowledge tell okay. me if you okay, my pleasure you. tell me if you already receive it by any chance did you guys receive yeah, it i receive it yeah yeah okay, okay so you have yes. a difference and also you have examples okay example of sentences okay so study that so you can have like a better knowledge of that any after you study you still have a question let me know okay let me know. Okay, guys. So it's time to say goodbye. Uh, some of you have to rest. Some of you have to eat. And some of you have to do the two things. Eat and rest. Right? <laughs> okay. But once again, I'm really happy to see you uh, one more day. We finish tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow is the last day. So please do not forget, especially Amilcar. Okay. Don't forget that, please. And well, guys, have a lovely night. Hugs and kisses. And see you tomorrow. Okay? You tomorrow. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.